Hello everyone and welcome to another chapter related to Power BI. In this tutorial, you will learn about creating a dashboard like this. The data set that we are using uh, in this particular case is IPL data. This data is from 2008 to 2023. And in this data, you can see we have displayed most runs is name of the batsman who has scored most runs and the number of runs name of the bowler who took most wickets and the number of wickets total count of sixes in overall data total count of fours then if toss winner is match winner so in what number of cases the toss winner is match winner and in what number of cases it is false then in this data you will see teams sorted by count of wins in a descending order like team with the most number of wins is on top and team with least number of wins again uh, this is a visual this is as you can see here this is a funnel chart here you can choose bar chart to display the same information and here we have 100% stack bar chart. So in 100% stack bar chart, we have tried to display top five batsmen, top five run scoring batsmen in all IPLs, and what is the percentage of boundaries that they hit, and how many runs do they make in singles and doubles. So for example, here Virat Kohli scores. 35.53% of his runs in boundaries while Rohit Sharma scores 35.67% but he hits 24.9% 24, almost 26% of runs that he has scored came in sixes. In case of Virat Kohli this number is 19 and so on. So this will give us an idea about the type of batsman, like how how hard the batsman hits and whether that batsman likes to hit sixes or that batsman likes to take single, things like that. So in this dashboard, we have also used a filter, a slicer. Currently, all seasons are selected here. So our data is from 2008 to 2023. So when you will select all, obviously you will see the data. By default also you will see the complete data for all seasons. But let's say you just want to analyze for the last season. So as you can see here in the last season, Mohammad Shami took 28 wickets. Subman Gill scored most number of runs. What was the case in last season? Again, in last season, Shubman Gill, Park Duplessis, Convoy, then Kohli and Jaiswal, these were the top five run scorers. This data will not be sorted because, again, this data is a summary for all the years. So now, we will try to learn how to build a visual like this and for this visual we have created separate elements so for example here we have created most runs and wickets so first i will select you can select any column here so it is a slicer but for this what we have done is we have first selected up chart over here a card over here in this card as you can see so first i will explain you the columns in this data set after explaining the columns after understanding what columns are there what are their names you will understand how we can prepare a visual like this how we can prepare a dashboard or a report like this so first of all this data set will be shared with you. We have done some data cleaning in this data set. 
but you will also get you also need some more data cleaning which we will explain in other videos so you you should stay tuned to our channel you should subscribe to our channel we will post more videos like this so this data is mainly in two parts one is ipl matches in ipl matches you can see every match has a unique id season city so we have done some cleaning on season earlier it was in some cases it was written as 2023 something like this it was written like this so we have just cleaned so from 2008 to 2023 we have made it an integer value then we have city we have date on which particular date we had that match team 1 team 2 who won the toss what was the toss decision what was the result of the match whether it the quad lewis was applied a normal result if the quad lewis was applied one otherwise all zero so this is this column is just the numerical representation of this column then we have winner win by runs if winner has won by runs you will see some runs over here otherwise you will see zero if win by runs is zero that means win by wicket will be something so it totally depends whether the team is batting first or bowling first now this is player of the match who won most number of player of the match awards what was the venue umpire 1 2 and 3 so this is match data now here so this is our ipl ball by ball file this is a csv file here we have match id so obviously every match has a unique id that's why in every match there are probably 240 balls so you will see this id being repeated for 240 times in ideal cases it will be repeated 240 times but sometimes the match finishes early as other team might win early or other team might lose early then we have season start date and venue although these columns are not necessary here because we can join the data we can create a relationship between with these two files ipl matches and ipl ball by ball and we can get this data but since it is given to us it's okay we have innings over here so in every match there are two innings one and two so these are the innings then we have ball information like point 1 point 2 this is how they have given ball so point 1 point 2 point 6 then 1.1 1.2 so this particularly represents over and ball so 1.1 means first over first ball we have batting team bowling team striker striker is basically the batsman who will score runs and non striker will be standing at the other end who was the bowler this is important column when we will create dashboards related to bowler then we have runs of bat extra runs wides runs of bat are the only runs that that will be counted under a batsman all other runs are extra runs like wides no balls so in some cases when there will be wides or no balls one or two will be written here then we have leg bys penalty wicket type so wicket type can be anything from uh, caught bowled caught and bowled hit wicket run out so we will again this is the first dashboard that we are creating we will create more bat, uh, dashboards there will be dashboards related to batsmen there will be uh, dashboards particularly dedicated towards bowlers 
so we will make more dashboards in which these columns will come then we have player dismissed like shubman gill was displaced on this particular ball of this particular match so this is the data other we can type another player dismissed as also two columns so we have simply connected our file so from here get data click on text csv and then connect these two files we have already discussed about connecting with excel file csv files in the previous chapters so now we will get started with building of these cards and building of these other visuals so now let's discuss how to create a card like this where we can show the name of that player who has scored most runs and the total number of runs so for this we have taken a card visual so here you can see we have taken a card visual where so we have taken two card visuals one for the name of that player and one for the total number of runs so after taking a card visual from the fields we have selected a striker because in this data set a striker is someone who has a striker is the batsman's name so first you will take a striker and then after taking a striker we have taken a filter here and in the filter you will select top n and then you will display only one so you will display total top one and sum of runs so let's do this so that you can understand from scratch so first select your card visual and in your card visual you can see first you have to drag a field here so the field that we are going to drag here is striker it will show you the first name so alphabetically this name is first in the data set that's why it is showing it now what we have to do is we have to drag a data field here so we will drag this data field here and we will select top n in top n we will choose one because we just have to show one name and by value like top one striker by what value so in the data set runs of bat how many runs have been scored from the bat of the batsman so this is the field that we will drag here and after doing this you, you can see the name is not changed so you have to apply filter and now you can see top one that means top batsman who has scored most sum of runs this is how you can create this card and then for the cosmetics of this card like for styling of this card when you you have selected the card click on a visual then you can apply different side type of style like you can select the font color from call out value if you want to hide this particular field first striker so you can disable the category label here in general in fx you will find background of the card you can select the background as per your theme you can choose any other background let's select a darker color then your name will be visible and then you can drag this card you can press control c and then you can go to the dashboard where you can simply paste it you can adjust the styling so this is how this particular card has been created which we demonstrated similarly how the total number of runs have been calculated let's discuss that 
so in in this same case as we calculated virat kohli what we can either we can copy and paste it but we can start from scratch as well so we have selected this now we have to show the total number of runs so in fields here you will simply select runs of bat so this is total number of runs in all ipl since 2008 and after this you have to apply some filters here remember when whenever you are applying a filter you can see an option called filter on the visual and filter on this page and filter on all pages so you have to remember we are only applying filter on this visual so whatever visual we are selecting we are only applying the filter on this visual so similarly in this case when you will select any other visual you will see a different option here because currently some of runs of bat is all no filters are applied here so we will add a data field here so which data field should we select again we will select the striker and we will select top n select top 1 and again by runs again no change just apply this and now you will see you can do the same thing again if we had copied this then it would have been very easy for us but just for understanding we can do this very quickly general effects background purple writer hide the call out category level adjust the width and this is how our second visual has been created so we can put all of these two values here and this is how you can select virat kohli 7 to 73 and now select this and in your general setting you can see title is off you can go and you can type top run scorer so this is how your top run scorer will be displayed here top run scorer is written in black color which is not visible let's select it once again general title and let's select the color as a light color and alignment center font size 18 this is what i have done so this is top run scorer again you can try different options like divider this will give you a simple line when even select the color of the divider so it's as per you what style do you want to apply now in the in the data set that we, in the dashboard that we displayed earlier you can see an image here you can see an image on the top how if you are new to power bi obviously we have discussed about putting images in our reports so <clears throat> how to put images in our reports is very easy first collapse everything that you don't want let's drag it as as per our requirement and let's say we have to put an image here a batsman icon over here so you can go to insert from here you can go to images and we have saved some images so we can also use purple cap and orange cap so it's your choice we will choose this image and we can put it over here if you want to display an image as a banner so you will simply go to shapes and choose this rectangle first of all we are creating our title here 
and drag it in full width then add a text box over here this text box will say IPL dashboard and we will select its size as per our requirement so IPL dashboard we can select the size as 24 and we can set the alignment as middle and in format of this we will select FX background as background of our theme let's try a different background yeah, this again in my case I have selected a different theme in your case it might be a different theme if you want to choose uh, different themes you can go to view I have selected this particular theme which is bloom you can select any other theme from here and as per your theme you can design your dashboard now I will select all and choose the font color as a light color and bold so font is uh, I have set the font as bold and now this is my dashboard I will select this and drag it here so this is how we can style this now let's try to put an image over here again home insert image we have this transparent banner over here so all the logos in this banner belong to their respective team and this, we are using these logos just for an educational purpose here let's drag it let's first try to bring the dashboard text and then drag this in it so this is simply drag and drop and now now we have to calculate most wicket taker so now we have to build a similar visual with most number of wickets and the name of that bowler who has taken most number of wickets and for that we will do a little, little bit of discussion and then we will create some extra fields here so every student who is watching this video has to remember in data sets like this for example this is IPL ball by ball data every row here represents a ball and these are all properties of every ball we can say that now if player dismissed so here you can see player dismissed so Shuman Gill here WP Saha here so we have empty cells here and these cells have data only when a player dismissed name is there like for example a player is dismissed so then only these cells have some data otherwise they are empty so this will be our logic to create a new field here which will be is wicket delivery is this ball a wicket delivery so first of all we have this file here so while creating that dashboard I created this file so that I will provide it to every student who needs it I will put the link in the description so here you have to create a new column name of that column will be is wicked and this is the query that we will use in order to create it so in this case we are using if function if function has three 
particular arguments. So let's see. So now go to modeling and create new column. This is how you can create a new column. And let's call it is this wicket. So earlier we used is wicket. Now we are using is this wicket just for the sake of understanding. So we are writing if. So here you can see we need three parameters here logical test result. So logical test result if true and result if false. So that's why we have written here if IPL ball by ball player dismissed. This is how you can select a variable. This is a comparison operator that is not equal to. So we are comparing if IPL ball by ball player dismissed is not equal to empty that means if it is not empty then write one here otherwise write zero here so what will be the result of this type of column let's try to insert a column here so player dismiss it will be zero 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 and so on so unless and until there is a wicket there it will all be zero and when there is a wicket it will be one so if you will sum all of this, then the sum of all the ones will be the output. So because no matter how many zeros you add, you will get a zero. So it will be a column like this is wicket something like this. So is wicket zero or one. So whenever you have to calculate things like this, so you, you can always try this thing and it will create your column in a binary format is the output of your columns value will be either 0 or 1 and there sum if you will sum right like right now the sum is 1 like only one we get there. so if you will do this for the entire data then you will see the total number of wickets so now let's use that column. So let's create this column. Now is this wicket if IPL ball by ball player dismissed is not equal to empty then 1 else 0. So here you have to write comma 0 and then close and then we can click this to comment. So this will create a column here is this wicket. Now so let's copy this card here and let's first of all change the title so top wicket taker or whatever you want to call it i am writing top wicket taker and here you can see the field is first striker we will choose baller because now we have to display the name of baller again in the alphabetical order you can see the name of that all the first baller and now we have to use filters just like we did in case of previous example first we will remove this and we will choose a baller here and top n then we will sim similarly will choose one but one by what value so that, vol that value is, will be is this wicket that we just created and we will put some of is this wicket apply and here you can see DJ Bravo we are seeing DJ Bravo because first of all I also have the actual data let me show you that so this is the actual data 
you can see DJ Bravo has 183 wickets yeah and Yujwendra Chahal has 187 wickets so Yujwendra Chahal's name should be there but why is this happening because we we have applied the condition is this wicket that is good but that wicket is counted in bowlers uh, quota if that wicket is stumped caught caught in bowl so that if that wicket is run out that will not be counted so now we have to use another filter here so let's select this we have to use another filter here add data fields here and you can see in this file that wicket type is that column so wicket type is either bold caught caught and bold hit wicket lbw whatever so we just have to rule out run out from here so we will choose wicket type in this and add field here and we will choose bold caught caught and bold Hit wicket LBW stumped red hurt everything but we will not select run out and this empty when you will do this you will see this so this is how you can select your top wicket ticket now we will copy this and paste let's increase its size and here we have we actually have to show the sum of runs so we will close this and we will show the sum of runs and in order to show sum of runs we will simply drag is this wicket and it will automatically do its sum you can change it to anything else but it is already sum and now this will create our visual for the top wicket taker we can here we can hide the title because we have already written that so this is how i created this particular chart and we can add icons as we did in the previous case now in the original dashboard that I presented, we have count of six and count of fours. So count of six and fours will also be done with calculations. So here you can see for counting six and fours, this is very simple. We will create a new column called is four. And if runs of bat is four, then only it will be 1 otherwise it will be 0 so it will also create a field for us wherever the runs of that is 4 so like for example runs of that is 0 1 whenever it's 4 so let's insert a column here so let let's see how is 4 is going to look like so it will be all zeros whenever there is 4 it will be 1 it will be 1 0 so I, again i am going to do some example so now so you can see now if you will select it the sum is 4 that means there are 4 fours in this selection so in this selection there are 4 fours see uh, 1 2 3 and 4 so this is the way to calculate uh, this thing Obviously, there are other ways of doing the same thing, but this is the easiest for us, for me particularly. So, how to create this column is for we have a formula here. Again, this will all be shared with you. So, you will simply create is for, and I have already done that. So. Let's go to our new dashboard 
and here you can see is for is for this is a column a new column which has been created with this setting similarly we have created is 6 so now we can display those two visuals that is very easy just select your card and add data field here so is 4 total force is 28000 you can choose a call out you can go to general tab and title you can select total force and similarly let's copy and paste it and after copying and pasting it we will uncheck this and now drag is 6 so this is total number of 6 and 4 now what in the card settings go to the card setting you can see the call out value and display units is auto so you can do it none then it will display the exact number so this is how you can build this card because i have already built it and styled it so i will just copy it from here and you know it is very simple to do this task so this is how you can select count of sixes and fours so next up we have toss winner is match winner so in this i have just done it to explain one simple situation is the toss winner a match winner so to understand that we have to go to ipl matches file and here you can see toss winner we want to see whether toss winner wins the matches most number of times or loses the matches what is the case so toss winner and winner you can see so toss winner is chennai super kings winner is chennai super kings mumbai indians gujarat Tigers. so we will see in what number of cases toss winner is match winner and so on so that's why we have decided to do it through using a donut chart here so what we will do here is let's empty some space here again we have to make it smaller i will do all of this i'm so just pausing this so here you can see we in ipl matches so first let's collapse this table expand this table so toss match winner this time as you can see here so we have created a new column uh, which is toss match winner so this is simply this logic toss match winner i have named it as toss match winner we have selected from IPL matches if toss winner is double equal to IPL matches winner so these are the names of two columns and this double equal to is a comparison operator which simply will find out is match winner a toss winner so this is going to be such a field which will again give us true or false type of output so it will give us either true or false let's try so let's select id here so this will select all match ids again there are so many match ids and let's select toss match winner so you can see the output in first match it is false in second match it is true and so on so this is true false type of data that will be created with the help of this thing let's close this and go to our new dashboard so you can either select a donut chart or a pie chart here so for example if you select a pie chart you can select values details and legend here so in legend we will select toss match winner so you will see automatically see true false and in values what you will select so that it can display the numbers 
so you simply have to count it right in how many matches true happened in how many matches condition was false so when you will select this in values drag id and then you will automatically see the data because it is presenting count of id now let's resize it put it here and we can select the background like go to effects and pick any theme background and now let's select this background and now you can see the titles are not vis visible so again you can go to legend text and select the color which is visible lighter color and similarly you can go to slices or true what you want let's say for true we want this one whatever you want you can select here in general uh, you can go to effects can you can select the, any other background as per your choice title is currently count of id and something like that. so we will write it like toss winner equal to match winner we can write more anything else here as well and uh, what i need to do is change the color of the title to something lighter again you can uh, play with these options and uh, don't forget to select it and in values we will select lighter color so now everything is visible here so you again you have to play with all of these settings in order to find the best suited color for your graph so this is how we can uh, draw this toss winner is equal to match winner now in our original or in our example dashboard we have selected theme sorted by count of wins this is something that is easy to do we can go to dashboard and we can select a funnel chart the funnel chart helps us in building graphs like that when you will select funnel chart you, you will see category and values these are the two things that you will see category is something a column that is categorical so here winner is a categorical column because in this column name of winner will appear multiple number of times and then we just have to count those values right count how many times it happened so if you will count this id because id is a unique thing here so i uh, we explained this earlier also id is unique so if you will count something that is unique so you will find how many times in winner for example how many times in winner chennai super kings has appeared so you just need to count id filtering chennai super kings so that's how we will do this so in your category you will choose winner and in your values you will select count of ids and it will show a data like this here you will see and in tool tips also we will select winner so but as you can see in the original data name is also visible so we can go to we can select this visual its settings and uh, and in this type of graph make sure the category labels are on so as we have already styled this so we will copy it so let me show you if category labels are off now those labels will not appear if it is on then only it will appear so this is how you can do this graph or create this this type of visual and you can set it and then for the last part we have this graph where we have selected top 5 batsmen with runs categorization so for this 
we have selected 100% stack bar chart. In this bar chart on y axis we have put a striker and on x axis we have put sum of batsman runs. So which is runs of that obviously. In the legend also this uh, these small legends that you can see here we have selected runs of bats. So batsman can run either 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6 runs of bat. And this graph is representing like Virat Kohli 35.53% of runs made by Virat Kohli in all seasons is from is in boundaries. So this is what this data is representing. Now there is one more thing that you have to do in the filters you have to select like we did in earlier cases instead of top n you have to select top 5. So this can be done. Let's try to do it quickly. So first drag this in y axis drag the name of your striker. Again we have to go to the IPL ball by ball. So name of striker in x axis you will have to put runs of bat in legends also same column runs of bats and then you will see this graph and here also in visual uh, let's select this and in visual you can see x axis y axis legend you will see different options here so in general also you can change the title so because we have already done that so I will just copy it and I will just paste it here. Now in these graphs what I have done is so what I have done is in effects I have selected this option. When you will put a shadow here, see a shadow. You can select the shadow color also. Like let's select this color. So it will create some kind of visual effect which will make your visual appear more attractive. So let's go to effects and you can also apply a visual border and you can choose visual border colors and its width. So last remaining element in our in this particular dashboard is this slicer. So as you can see, let's try this. So in our dashboard, what we will do is we will select on slicer and we will bring it over here. So when you select a slicer first it will ask you for a field. So obviously we are going to filter by season. That's that's what you can see here. These are all seasons 2008-2009 and we already have a column for season. So we will select we will go to the matches file and here we will select season as a field here. And now you will see a slicer like this. Obviously we have the data but now we have to select the type of slicer. So we will select this and go to slicer setting and instead of between we will select a vertical list which will give us this type of list. First list. Yeah. So it will give us this type of list and in selection we, we will select single select and so again you can play with these settings and let's select drop down here. So this is what we have done in our case. You can see data being filtered. Here it will ask you for option show all. So turn it on and then there will be select all option so that you can view the combined data and if this option is not selected then obviously we are going to see data by season. So again this will give 
a user a lot of freedom to select whatever season he wants to analyze he or she wants to analyze so now this is our IPL dashboard that we created and I am also working on a dashboard where we will focus on batsman so batsman is stats I am working on it so let's say we select RG Sharma so you can see the data of RG Sharma so uh, when we when I will build this then I will again create a video where I will explain what type of calculations we have done here particularly for a strike rate total runs number of matches so please subscribe to our channel and so that you can get the notification whenever we will upload a video like this.